Hi, this is Jeff's Musical Car, and this week I have Brad Saunders, originally from Newfoundland, now living the dream out west. Thanks for coming along. Yes, thanks for having me, Jeff. This is fantastic. So, uh, a sound that's a little more Nashville than East Coast, I'd say. Can you tell me about how your uh, your journey in music began? Yeah, you know, I, I uh, as far as country music goes, I, I grew up uh, in, a, in a country music kind of family, and uh, we... Uh, I'm originally from a small town in, in Glovertown, mm -hmm. and uh, that's Newfoundland. And um, kitchen jams were a big thing, as as I'm sure you know. Yeah. And um, so yeah, we 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 grew up listening to music, but it, but a lot of it was like you know right when Shania Twain was coming around, and yeah, and uh, kind of that era. And um, I just I've always heard you know even Alan Jackson and uh, a lot of stuff like that. But uh, I've always had just a, a real uh, you know love for country music. So later on, uh, you know, later on in my life, I decided to pick up the guitar and uh, give it a go, and I just felt like country was uh, was something that uh, you know I, I was going to be good at. So yeah. did you have a, a moment when I don't know, maybe on stage or recording, where you, you just realized like, whoa, like I could actually do this? Where you get this feeling like this is working for me? <laughs> yeah, well, it gets to the point where you know. Um, when you're doing more music than your your day job, you know. Yeah. Once you get past that kind of pedestal of. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things, and that's kind of what's happened. You know, I've I've owned a business for for uh, like 13 years now, and and uh, just in the last couple of years, it's been more uh, full time music for me. So, yeah. Who was more uh, scared to take that leap? Was it you or maybe family? <laughs> you know what? There's never been. You know, it, it's funny because. <laughs> I always joke the, the smaller decisions in my life like the, the smallest of decisions I can be indecisive about but it seems like some of the bigger decisions just come really easy to me and mm -hmm. I feel like you know you know you work hard at something and um, it'll be good to you so okay. music has always been good to me that way and it's uh, great to be able to do what I love now for a living that makes sense yeah. so uh, tell me about the song you're gonna play for me today yeah the song I'm gonna play for you is uh, is my current single to country radio it's it's uh, the title is called play it by beer and um, you know it's a fun upbeat summer tune but it's also got like an underlining kind of story about this young couple that just you know they want to take off somewhere and uh, they go down the California coast and um, and they fall in love and they play it by beer love so, it yeah let's hear the just musical car rendition yeah all right here we go
the play by play and go to the floor of a nice cold city in the snow on a lazy day. Show the balls that last all night. You're the rush, it just feels right. Lay back, it's the only player around here. We can play it by fear. Play it by fear, yeah. We were barely 18, drinking underneath the palm trees of the California coast. Oh, 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 yeah. Play it by beer. I bet you're happy that when you play on stage, there's not a lot of movement. Like oh, yeah, but this, is, this is amazing, man. I tried to be, be nice and smooth here. Yeah, no, it's incredible. So tell me about some highlights on your uh, your latest tour. Uh, on the radio tour here? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's just been great to come out and see some of these people, you know, to sit down with them and... Uh, you know, a lot of them had, had supported me on my last single, and I hadn't had a chance to come out here and visit with them. Um, so it's, it's great to be able to um, to come out and build those relationships. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, it's just been a great result so far. We're getting lots of great feedback on the single, and um, it's rolling ahead pretty good. What's your biggest learning experience, or maybe a thing you took into your latest album that you you kind of just gained, like being in the industry for a few extra years? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's one of those things where I think it's imperative to really focus on the quality of the content. Um, you know, it's it's an industry where you're up against some of the elite in the business, and you have to compete against them. You know, you're you're fighting for, you know, in, in my case, you're fighting for radio spots, and, yeah. and you're and you're and the people that you're fighting with are, you know. The Keith Urbans and the and the uh, the Brad Paisleys of the industry, so it's uh, it can be it can be challenging. But mm -hmm. um, I think if you if you put out good good stuff, um, you, know, you worry about that and have a good business plan, then I think exactly. it uh, works out. Do you have any again any um, collaborators, maybe fellow musicians that have been like integral to your to your success? Some maybe some people you looked up to and locally or even like that you've met up with in the business? Well, one thing I've learned about the business is that there are people that are jaded and there's, there's, you know, you will meet naysayers and mm -hmm. people that tell you that stuff can't be done. And I think it's, uh, it's important to stay away from people that don't get your vision and don't understand what you're doing. And, um, you know, it's for me, I have many mentors in the business that have helped me to get get to where I am today, uh, just by being positive and, and encouraging and supportive. So, mm -hmm. I mean, to me, it's it's just so important to have that support. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and another way too that you've been able to use music to um, support outside of your career is that through charity work and fundraising. Can you tell me a bit about how how that ties in with your career and why it's so important to you? Yeah, I mean, to me, it's just important to, to give back, you know, I mean, I feel very fortunate to be able to do what I love and, you know, I, I want to be able to use that for good. I want to be able to, um, you know, I, I first started playing guitar and singing so I could play in church and um, I feel like, you know, I don't want to lose touch of that. I want to stay stay connected with uh, with charities that are close to me and, and um, be able to give back whenever I can. That's great. Well, I wish you best of luck in the rest of your career, and I can't wait to hear your next single. I appreciate that, Jeff. Thanks for having me. No problem. So uh, be sure to check out the album. It's great stuff. And if you see him in your town, go to the show. That's an order. And that's it go. for this episode of Jeff's Musical Card. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.